are going to start chapter 9, lesson number 1, and our first lesson is on how to take a survey. So look at this word here, sir, the U-R, so let's get the er sound, and then they, and this E-Y says the A sound. So how to take a survey. Throughout this chapter, we're going to learn our essential question. So the question we need to work on and learn is how can I record and analyze data? So remember, yesterday we talked about analyze means to look at data. And then we learned data is numbers, how to look at numbers. Okay. So today, we're going to learn... waiting for a few people to show me that they're respectful and ready to learn. Carson, you're one of them. Deep down, eyes up here. We're going to learn today that there's two ways to put data, to record data. And one way is to put it in a chart. Another way is to take a survey. And when you take the survey, you're going to put that data in a chart, and then you're also going to use tally marks. And I know we talked a little bit about tally marks yesterday, but we're going to continue talking about them today. So we're going to watch a video. It's a cute video. It's kind of long. It's eight minutes. So it's going to review tally marks and data or data. Did you guys hear Miss Murphy say that word two it different ways? It can be ways? data or data. It can be data or data. So when I say the word data, it, means, data. it, means, it also means data. It's just a different way to say the word. Okay? And I'll say that in the, in the video today, too. Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about numbers and data and maybe even bugs. Oh, I really like bugs. The one thing we can use numbers with is data. Data! And some people call it data. Data! Anyway, data is when you collect and sort information and you try and understand things like uh, facts about something. For example, here is some data about me. <clears throat> I have one mouth, two eyes, and 17 brothers and sisters. What? What? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, so we can collect data and understand things in different ways. One way is to use our eyes and look. We call this observing. Observing! For example, I was, hey, who is talking? Francis and August, please be quiet. Okay, as I was saying, I want to observe my brothers and sisters and collect data about what color they are. Do you want to help me? Okay, great. Uh, we can use a chart and write down the numbers beside the words of the color up here. First up is uh, purple. So, how many brothers and sisters are purple? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Hey, do you know what these are? These are tally marks. Tally marks are like a way of counting using special lines. When we count with tally marks, we make one up and down line for each number, up to four, like this. And then when we get to five, we make a side-to-side -side line through, like this. And now we know we have a group of five. But after five, well, then we start all over again and make a new group. So when we count up to six, this is how we do it with tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so moving on. The next color is green. How many brothers and sisters are green? So let's count. One, two, three, four, four. And finally, how many brothers and sisters are blue? Seven. Let's count. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven! Good job, everybody! 
we have now collected all the data about the color of my brothers and sisters. Yay! Okay, you've done such a good job. It is now time to take a stretching break. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's enough. So, we just saw that we can collect data and understand things by observing with our eyes. But did you know that we can also collect data and understand things by asking questions with our voice? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, let's ask my brothers and sisters some questions and collect their answers with tally marks. Oh. Okay, so what he's gonna do is what we're gonna learn today. We're gonna take a survey. So whenever you ask a question and you wanna collect the answers or the results, that is a survey. And so what he's doing is he's kind of surveying his brothers and sisters, okay? What should we ask them about? Mm. Oh, I know. Bugs. Yeah, he's not sure. I said bugs. Okay, there are three different kinds of bugs here: the spider, the ladybug, and butterfly. I want to know which bug they like the best. So we just saw that. Hey, and who's talking? Oh, Francis and August. You need to separate. Please move. Okay, that's better. Now, brothers and sisters, I want you to raise your hand when I say the name of the bug that you like the best. And remember, you can only choose one bug and raise your hand one time. Okay, please raise your hand if you like spiders the best. And let's count. One, two, three. So three brothers and sisters like spiders the best. Now, raise your hand if you like ladybugs the best. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So five brothers and sisters like ladybugs the best. Now, raise your hand if you like butterflies the best. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So nine brothers and sisters like a butterfly the best. Wow! Great collecting data, everyone. Now let's take a break and do some stretching. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Okay, sit up. Now, let us show this data in a different way. Instead of using tally marks, we will take the numbers and put them into something we call a pictograph. Pictograph! A pictograph is a way to show data with pictures. Okay, so remember, how many brothers and sisters like spider best? Three! So that's right, three! One, two, three. And how? What kind of graph is this called over here? Pictograph. A pictograph, so pictograph, so pick, like whenever you take a picture or like a pic, pic. That's, that is exactly what a pictograph, it's a picture graph. Like sometimes, like for short, they can say, I want to say like a pic. Exactly, it's a short word for, short way to say picture. Is the ladybug the best? That's right, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ding, ding, ding. And how many like the butterfly the best? Nine. That's right, nine. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now our pictograph is complete. So, looking at the pictograph data, which bug do most of my brothers and sisters like the best? Butterfly! It's a butterfly! Yay! There are more butterfly pictures than anything else. So we have learned that among my brothers and sisters, the most popular bug is the butterfly. And uh, which bug is the second most popular bug? That's right, it's a ladybug. Yay! Oh, here's a question. How many more ladybugs would we need to have in order to equal the amount of butterflies? Four. If you said four, you are right. Yay! Yay! 
And finally, what is the third most popular bug? Or we can also say the least popular bug. Spider! That's spider. right. It is spider. It's okay, spider. I still like you. Okay, that is all the time today we have for Tata. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more laughing and learning from Scratch Garden. And did you know that we have many other videos with... Okay, let's stop there. Come.